Hi everyone, my name is Pele and I'm on the learning development team here at Blue Bottle Coffee and today I'd like to talk to you about cold brew and the various methods that you can use to brew it. Here at Blue Bottle we have four preferred methods for making cold brew coffee. We have the OG slow dripper, we have the toddy brew system, we have the Blue Bottle pour over setup which we can use for making a hot brew over ice and also the Hario cold brew bottle. We're gonna look at each one of these methods through five different categories. Strength, flavor, volume, time, and ease of use. So let's get started with strength. Each of these methods produces a variety of different strengths in the cup. The hot brew over ice method and the Hario cold brew bottle both produce a coffee that is ready to drink right after you've brewed it. Not unlike a single origin iced coffee or a cold brew that you might get in one of our cafes. The OG slow dripper also makes a ready to drink beverage but at a much higher strength. And then there's the toddy cold brew system which produces a concentrate, which you technically could drink on its own, but really does benefit from dilution with either a little bit of water or some milk. The mouthfeel and the strength of this coffee is not unlike the Nola that you might get in one of our cafes. Now that we've talked about strength, let's move on to flavor. When talking about flavor with cold brew coffee, one of the signature characteristics is a lower perceived acidity, which we accomplish by brewing with room temperature water. The toddy brew system and the Hario cold brew are probably your more traditional flavor profiles. A lower perceived acidity, more sweetness, higher perceived body. The toddy brew system does that with two different filters, a felt filter and also a paper mesh, while the Hario cold brew bottle does that using a fine mesh filter. The OG Slow Dripper also produces a coffee with lower perceived acidity. However, it can be a little bit more nuanced and complex because of the higher brew ratio and the use of a cloth filter that allows just a small amount of sediment through. If you're looking to highlight the acidity in a coffee, the hot brew method over ice could be the one for you. Because we're brewing with hot water here, it allows us to capture some of those brighter notes in a coffee and differentiates it from the other three methods. A great feature of most cold brew methods is the ability to make batches with multiple servings, the toddy being the best at that. It creates a concentrate that you can dilute and stretch out or serve with milk for multiple servings. The Hario cold brew bottle also makes multiple servings, but because it's at a concentration that's ready to drink, doesn't benefit from the added addition of water or diluting it. The OG dripper also produces multiple servings, but is meant to be served at its higher concentration, so doesn't benefit from dilution either. But if you're looking for a one and done, the hot brew over ice method might be the one for you. It's designed to produce one delicious coffee at a time. Another consideration when choosing the cold brew method for you is the time invested in brewing. Because we're using room temperature water to do most of the extraction, we're looking at brew times of anywhere from 12 to 24 hours. That's true for the OG dripper, the toddy system, and the Hario cold brew. On the other side of the spectrum, we have the hot brew over ice method. Because we're using hot water to do the extraction work, we can produce a delicious cup of coffee in under five minutes. The last consideration when choosing the cold brew method is its ease of use. And the Hario cold brew bottle is the easiest. You add ground coffee to the basket, top it with water, and allow it to steep for 12 to 24 hours. After that, simply remove the basket, and now you've got delicious cold brew that you can serve right in the bottle or store in the refrigerator. The OG Slow Dripper, while it looks complicated, and indeed it is fragile, is fairly easy to use. You add your ground coffee here, room temperature water on top, and you'll adjust this lever to control the drip rate. You'll want to check it throughout the day to make sure it's staying consistent. The Toddy Cold Brew System, while simple in construction, gets complex in the numerous ways that you can use it. You can adjust the water to coffee ratio, you can use the paper filter, you cannot, and remember, it creates a concentrate which you can dilute with water, serve with milk, use in a number of different ways. Hot brew over ice might be the most complex if you've never made a pour over before. However, if you do have a solid pour over technique, all you're really doing is slightly adjusting the recipe to make a delicious cold brew. As you can see, there's a lot to think about when choosing a cold brew method. If you'd like to learn more, we have individual reviews for all of these brew methods as well.